Yes, sus filaracha! What's going on? Welcome back to Greek in the City. My name's Chris, and in today's video, I'm doing a part two to my top 10 Greek foods that you absolutely need to try because all of you were commenting with all these amazing foods that I wasn't able to include in my top 10. So, this is your top 10. I want to send a shout out to X and Cat. Fall 2016 Marketing 371, Couch Potato, and also Chris Zavos. Thank you guys so much. You inspired this video, and this is your top 10. Let's start with Spanakorizo. Spanakorizo is a spinach with rice meal, and basically it's exactly what it is. It's Spanakorizo, it's spinach and rice. Next up, we have Kokinisto. Kokinisto is actually a process in which you cook the meat. Kokinisto can be chicken, it can be lamb, it can be beef, but it's simmered for a long time in wine and then it's drenched in like tomato sauce. It's also served on like rice or pasta. Kefteraka, keftedes. Keftedes are basically Greek meatballs. They are served with some tzatziki, which is a white sauce, which I'm sure you people know what it is. If you don't, check out my video, right? Not that, yes. Check out my video where I teach you how to make tzatziki. Yeah! Yeah, man! All right, cool. So you got that in there. Now, you want to get your Greek sea salt. Ooh, it says Greek product on the side. That's how you know. That's how you know. Interesting. The hion. Where do you buy that? And pita. So basically, you take the keftade, you dip it in the tzatziki, and then you take the pita and you wrap it around and then you stick it in your mouth. Kokoretsi. So, how do I explain kokoretsi in a way that won't disgust you? Because, honestly, it's disgusting. It's lamb or goat intestines wrapped around the insides of that lamb or the goat. So basically, you wrap the intestines around its heart, its lungs, it's... Ugh. I'm just gonna move on to the next one. Moving on, and obviously these, these two are um, very Easter-y because the, we do these, the kokoretsi and this next one we do every Easter. Arnis di subla which is lamb on a spit. I don't know how much detail you guys need, but the lamb on the spit is a lamb on a spit. And it goes around and around and around and around. And then when it's done cooking, you eat it. Down to the top five. My number five choice is Yuvetsi. Yuvetsi is chicken or lamb with little pastas called um, Kitharaki, ki, kitharaki, kitharaki or klitharaki, I don't remember. Number four is, of course, baklava. I love baklava. I know you guys are going to be like, oh, it's Mediterranean and da 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 Well, Greece is Mediterranean, businesses. Welcome to my channel. Hello. Hello there, my little niece. How are oh you God. doing? You're, you're so energetic. Is baklava Greek or is it just Middle Eastern? Are you sure it's Greek? Or are you just biased because... Greek. Are you sure? I'm sure. Alright, bye, love you. Thanks, bye. bye. My number three choice! Choriatiki salad. That's Greek salad for you non-Greeks out there. And it is a salad which has tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, feta cheese, salt, pepper, and olive oil. It's the traditional Greek salad that you would have at a Greek restaurant. It's very tasty. I honestly can have that alone with some bread for dinner sometimes, and I'm good. Number two. Guys, when you are in Greece, at least for me, when I used to come to Greece and we used to go out at 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning when we are going home, we go to the Bugatza spot. That's right. And at the Bugatza spot, we have ham and cheese bugatza, and it's amazing. And that is honestly our tradition when I go to Greece. And I cannot believe that I didn't put bugatza in my top 10 because that was really, that's really one of the best ones. Bugatza is supposed to be like a breakfast pastry. It can be filled with cheese, meats, um, you know, like sweet cream. 
basically you can fill it up with like anything. And then it's just wrapped in layers of filo dough. It's so good. And my number one choice, what I like to eat every time I am sick. Avro lemono supa. Egg lemon soup. Yeah, that's it guys. This was your top 10. Thank you so much for all the comments and replies on the part one of this video because if it wasn't for all of those comments, this part two wouldn't be possible. So thank you so much for giving me your input on my top 10 so this way I can make your top 10. And also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Greek in the City because I make two videos a week on Tuesday and Thursday. Filakia pola, mwah! That means lots of kisses in Greek. Bye!